Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Taking a walk with Mika. I'm using the uh, my gimbal, the new gimbal there, the um, uh, it seems to be it's 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 cool one. Yeah, uh, it's the uh, Vimbal S2. I'm using the new one you know, that I showed you guys uh, the other day. So now I'm gonna I'm just walking around to see what it's like, um, how how this how the gimbal is. So so far, what I feel my arm the this gimbal, um, I just extracted the arm just a bit, and uh, yes, you will get you, you you're definitely gonna get uh, um, heavy hands. You're gonna it's gonna you're gonna get tired, but it's a. Uh, that's that's basically it, you know. I mean, uh, I prefer it to be heavy anyway, so because it's it's more seems more solid, uh, you know. I mean, what are you gonna do? Make how to make it lighter, you know? I, mean, it's, I don't know. Just talking stupid shit. But it's a uh, it's cool, man. It's a uh, it's a nice gimbal. Mika, Mika. Come, Mika. You looking for water? She's looking for water. She knows exactly where it is. To I like this gimbal. It's it's cool. Mika, Mika, pss, 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 pss. pot pot. You there, pot pot? You there? C'est quoi tu cherches? Ah, soif. C'est quoi? C'est quoi qu'elle cherche? Hey boy. We'll see what she's looking for. She's looking for something. She's trying. To, maybe she wants to go to the washroom. She's running around. See, she, she keeps coming back. Like she sees, she smells something. I know she spot something, she picked off something, I know that. Something's got her. What you got, Mika? Hmm? Good, sir. It's good, chef, to do. Chef de l'eau? Me, why? Why? See it, Louis said. Find some. Did you find some water? Ooh, you don't have much there. 
Come, let's walk up here. <sighs> so yeah, it's uh, the gimbal uh, Fatek. My Fatek, it's good. It's good. I mean, it is, there's a. Uh, I didn't. I didn't install the app yet, so I'm just going through the way it is like that. And uh, doesn't seem to have any shake. You know, it's well balanced. Don't seem to have any shake. You know. We'll find you some water too, too. Yeah. Anybody keeping up with the uh, what's going on in the states with the elections? You guys want to talk about conspiracies? Check this out. So you have a you have a the president there, Mr. Trump, and he's. Uh, He's uh, uh, running against uh, you know Joe Biden, you know sleepy Joe Biden, and I don't think this guy knows what he's talking about. You know he doesn't know what state he's in, like where he, when he's doing his uh, his uh, campaign. He doesn't even know where he's at, you know. And then after that, to find out that he decided to bring in that woman there, Harris, as the VP. But the same woman, now listen, the same woman, guys, okay, um, was was debating with him before uh, to run for presidency, uh, and uh, she she was debating with, uh, you see, with Biden, and uh, hey, hey, hey. What's wrong with you? Sometimes you have to talk loud with her. She she does she's got a hard head sometimes. I don't know what's wrong with her these last couple of days. She's just been acting strange. Running after cars and stuff. I don't know what the I don't know. But uh Hey! Mika! Mika, where are you going? Why are you walking so fast? You see? You see? Why are she walking so fast? Like she's so busy. What are you so busy for? Oh my god. Yeah, so the she was she she was running against him. Now she now he took her as the as his VP. That same person that was debating with him before was Oh, she called him all sorts of names. She called him uh, a white supremacist and everything. You name it, she called him that, you know. But now, she's going to be running with this guy. So, kinds of, you know, you put two and two together, you start thinking, like, well, that, that doesn't make any sense. This woman just told this guy that he's a, a white supremacist. She's black. And all of a sudden, you know, she's going to be running with this guy as a vice president. You know, this woman, these people, these Democrats... I have no idea what these people are doing, but I don't think they're going to give up. They're going to go to the max with this one, this election. And they're going to fight to, 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 the, to the bitter end. They don't want Trump in the office. Trump doesn't want these, these Democrats in the office. So they, it's, they're going to they're gonna fight this one out. It's going to be a very interesting debate, man. You know, I can't wait when Pence is going to start debating with that, with Harris. I can't wait to see that part. I wonder what she's got to say. I mean, they have all the proof that she's not right. You know, even the people think, well, she lost, they lost the black votes now for that. That's for sure. You know, because they are, you know, the people are starting to see that this is just a bunch, a bunch of bullshit now. You know, it's, 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 it's ridiculous, you know. And did you hear, you know, presidents keep, keep saying that, doesn't want to have these mail-in ballots, right? Because the mail-in ballots, some states are going to send out more ballots, and 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 and, and I believe that too. You know, to be uh, to be true, you know, I mean, 
oh, let's send out all these ballots, but you don't know where they're going and who's signing them and stuff like that, right? So uh, he's against that part. And I'm pretty sure he's going to come up with a, an executive order saying that there's not going to be any mail-in ballots. And uh, so... Uh, I believe that these two parties, the Republican and the Democrats, they're going to fight it out to the bitter end, you know. And um, he was talking about, you know, he wanted to postpone the elections and all this stuff. You guys do realize this, eh? That if this character, let's say, say something, I mean, they're, they're, I, I, they, you should not be able to postpone the elections. I mean, even with this pandemic, you shouldn't. Be able to postpone. I mean, people have been voting for years, eh? Through, uh, you know, rain or shine or uh, mud or snow, whatever. People have been uh, been voting, but if they decide to hold back the election, okay. So that means uh, Trump and uh, Biden would have to fight it out, and he would have to step down as presidency, okay. During the, during the period of, uh, for example, if it passed, let's say they, they postponed it and then it was past the due date of the elections, that means that Biden and or uh, Trump will not be able to run the office during that time that the elections have been postponed. You understand that, guys? You follow me now? Okay. But during this time that this, the, the elections are postponed, Guess who becomes president? Just guess. It's not going to be, it's not Trump, right? Because he can't, right? So guess who becomes president? The House Speaker, Pelosi. Could you believe that? Okay, so there, uh, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Uh, these people, this, these, this two party, these two parties are going to fight it out to the end. You know? They're going to fight it out to the end because they're not going to, uh, you know they're not gonna allow. They don't. They don't want. They don't want this guy in office, and eh? you know. And if he doesn't go, if he doesn't go into office, okay. If he doesn't go into office, then I would say that that would be the end of the United States if the Democrats, you know, go into. Mika, come. In, if the Democrats. Mika, if the Democrats uh, win, that would be the the end of the United States, you know. Because you know, it's like I said, they're not going to let this uh, let it go, you know. There are so many horse flies right now. Hey, so yes. So. Hey, hey, Mika. Oh, Gizzy, 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 Gizzy. So, go ahead. These are guys that work at the mine. Get there. Look at her. She's she's ridiculous. She doesn't make sense. She doesn't make sense. It's not. Doesn't make sense. She doesn't want to listen, uh, ladies. Hey, Mika. Mika. You know, she doesn't want to listen. She, she's she's being hard-headed about she's pissed off at me because she today she was tied up somewhere else because we're I was finishing off the deck Mika you know so I have to tie her somewhere else and she didn't like that but uh, so yeah like I said so yeah if he if they postpone the election guess who becomes president I mean I mean, he's, 
You don't, you guys don't find that a little bit odd? Uh, with all the bullshit that's going on over there? This fighting and the infighting and all this nonsense. And then the, regardless of the fact that they postponed her, you know, she's going to become, she even spoke on the news saying that she's going to be the next president, man. She even said this. I mean, that's, it's, what, what does that mean? You know, she's going to be the next president. I'm telling you, if the Democrats take over, man, you're going, the United States is going to sink. It's going to sink. You know? I mean, it, I mean, I mean, seriously. You, I mean, yeah, okay, Trump's crazy. Crazy Trump, you know? But you seriously would vote for Biden? I mean, give me a break. You know? Guy's campaigning from his own basement for crying out loud, you know? Campaigning. Growing up, man, campaigning from his own basement. I mean, you can't... You can't have it better than that, eh? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Campaigning from his basement. <laughs> but, yep, that's the story. You know? So... So I've been walking with this... The gimbal. And, uh... Look at her. I'm gonna take... She wants to take a break. So, yeah, I was walking, uh, I mean, I'm walking with the gimbal, the Vimbal S2, it's not too bad, guys, it's, it's a little heavy, you know, but it's, it's not too bad, it's, I think it's a matter of getting used to it, you know, you see that peanut, look at this, this is on another section, see that, oh, Yeah, I want to talk about nature or being out in the wild. Now, this is it. Yeah, this is it. We got wolves up here. We have deer, moose, bears, turkeys, cats, lynx, I mean. I saw one last year. Beautiful cat. And, uh, you know, all the other little critters that follow it. But this is, yeah, this is, this is up north. You know. So, yeah, so that's the story about the, those crazy people out in the United States. They're crazy government, man. You know, crazy leftists far left man they're way out there these people way out there you know and they, and and they still haven't come up with a plan so uh, you know for that relief package you know the president's administration is waiting for them to come back to the tables they they still don't want to listen they want this trillions and trillions of dollars you know I mean, what do you need all this this money for you know and apparently it's for run down cities and and all that but but that has nothing to do with uh, the virus though i mean uh, he federal government gave out funds because of the virus not because you're gonna you want to you know uh tap into your city and make it look better you know what i'm saying that doesn't what, what, what is that so you really don't care about the people you just care about the looks of the place you know you don't care about the people I mean, why didn't they just say, okay, we're going to do it his way if he wants to put less money into the bank or, or into the, the pockets or whatever. Uh, we'll do it that way, you know. Better than not, not doing anything. No, they don't do anything. And now they're, you guys are, what is it, the 600 bucks a week? You know. Because, and, and, and you, don't blame, you don't, have, don't blame Trump with that. But you, you blame your Democrats. You know, blame the Democrats. They're the ones who were uh, uh, acting foolish and and stuff like that. You know, and 
big shots. No, no, we, we don't want to. We don't want to talk. We don't want to do anything. You know. So, horse flies, man. So, I think. I think we're in for a show. I think we're in for a big show with this election. You know, something's gonna happen. Something's definitely gonna happen. It doesn't look good either. You know. Yeah, let's let's see after November where the COVID thing is gonna be. Is it gonna be still around? Or did it automatically is it automatically gonna disappear, you know, in after November? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, what? You know. What is it going to be like over there in the future? I don't know. But it, nothing seems too too certain. You know. And this thing about the masks and wear masks. First, don't wear masks. Now wear masks. You know, you know there's, you know, guys out there, and there's different countries. You know, there's different countries right now. You know, they, 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 they've been wearing masks. Okay, they've been wearing masks to protect themselves from the COVID, and now they have to wear face shields with masks. What is that all about? What, what is that going to change? Oh, because, you know, you could get infected from the eyes and stuff. I mean, give me a break now. Come on. You're going to have these people wearing masks and you're going to have these people wearing visors too. You know, when they're walking down the street and stuff like that. So, it's like I said, man. Where are you going with this COVID thing? Where, where are you going with that? You know? Does it, it doesn't make sense. It's ridiculous. You know, and, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have the vaccine. We're gonna have the vaccine and shit like that. Everybody talking big. Yeah, all these people are talking big. You know, they're not gonna have no vaccines uh, in November. I don't think so. You know, I mean, if there is good, and let me ask you, let me ask you all this, man. If if there was a if the if there is a vaccine, right? Let's say there is a vaccine that that. That, that, that well, how, the, you know, I mean, why is everybody? Is it going to be a law that these people have to take their vaccines? Is it a law? And how many times do they have to take it per per year? You know, what happens if you don't want to take this thing? What's going to happen to you? They're going to put you in jail. What? Well, you know what I'm saying? So, who? You know, and they're not talking about this, but who, 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 seriously, who, what's 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 the story? You know, what about those guys? I'd like to know if there's any, uh, I would really like to know if there's any cases of deceased people uh, that had the COVID that, you know, the complication died from complications of COVID, but they had a flu shot. I wonder. I wonder. Now, if they did have a flu shot and they they, 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 they got sick from the COVID and stuff like that, I mean, there's, there's, there's something wrong with this. There's definitely something wrong with what's going on today. And today this video where I'm just talking conspiracies and foolishness but I do I, I believe that this is uh, I don't know maybe uh, I don't know uh, this is this is a this is a, a, a scam throughout the whole world you know a scam meaning like a, you know there, there's, a, there's an agenda here there's something beyond that with this COVID thing and trying to change people to, uh, trying to change the way people live you know like this 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 new world order thing you know what I mean the new norm you remember Bush back in the day when he used to say that the new world order is coming it's time for the new world order you know and then you get this COVID thing there you know right around the election time you know beginning of a new year all the way down to the, the elections you know this guy's promising that he's gonna have vaccines uh, for the people so he could win his election 
you got this other clown there. He doesn't know what's going on, man. You know, he he doesn't. He this guy still thinks he's running for vice president with uh, with Obama. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Joe Biden. Give me a break. Oh my God, man. Where did they find these people, man? You know, I mean, give up. Give it up. You were a vice president before. Now you're running. You know, give up, man. Get, just just. I mean, what is wrong with these people, man? They need to have their. They have. They always have to have a say in anything. You know. I mean, he, this guy's a puppet. He's a puppet. That's all he is. He, he ain't, he's not important. He's just a puppet. Somebody's pulling this guy's strings because he doesn't know what he's saying. Why vote for somebody who doesn't even know what he's saying? Just goes to show you what kind of democratic part. What kind of Democrats these people are. They don't give a shit. I don't care. You know. Just just look at what's going on, man. Put put it together. You know. Whoa, you know, like, oh, we want to defund police. This is all Democrats. We want to defund police, democratic states, defund police in New York and all that. This is just to get back to get back at Trump. That's all it is, you know. <coughs> it's nothing. It's nothing. Um, um, nothing more about that, you know. <coughs> you know, there's nothing else. You know, this guy's talking foolishness. She doesn't know what she's talking. Come, come. She doesn't know what she's talking about. You want to stay there? I'm going to get you some water. And, uh, you know, there's my deck. You see the color of my deck? Look, peanut. Look at that. You see my walls, man. I have to prime these walls. Do you see that? It's all wood, eh? But let me take a look at what it looks like. We still gotta go and attack this wasp nest, eh guys? Let me take a look at my the deck, you see? I have a before picture and an after picture. It's a big deck. This is a big house. I'm alone in this place. So yeah, man. So that so so yeah. That's what I'm saying. So um, you know, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. You know, why would you? Why would anybody do that? You know. Uh, hang on a second, guys. I'm just gonna get her some water. I'll be right back. Just had to get her some water, you know. Sorry, guys. Let's take a look at that uh, wasp nest, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna extend my arm a bit there. Yeah, let's go take a look. I know they were really aggressive this morning. <laughs> really aggressive. Oh, look at them, they're all on guard. You guys see that? You see them? You see the? You see the? You see? You, you see the guards there? Oh yeah, these guys are ready to go, man. These guys are. They're ready. They're ready to pounce on you. 
Let me see if the door is closed, uh, not closed, but let's take a look and see. Oh yeah, they're all, you see, if you look. Stop it. You see them all there on the nest? Those are your, those are your guards, man. These guys, as soon as one takes off in an aggressive way, okay, he's gonna let it go as some uh, pheromones or what they call, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, it's a pheromone. And then the rest are just gonna come knocking. The rest of them are just gonna come after you, man. You know, it's, this. You know, they're getting agitated. You know. You see that? It's a nice nest, boy. He's big. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna have to take it out. You know. <laughs> Go away from there. You know. Go get your water if you want your water. So yeah, guys, and uh, so that's the Durant. You know. You know. Yeah, I like it. I like the the gimbal, guys. It's a matter of getting used to it. Move, move. She said, "Which You see, you see, you see, Ali, you see, Ali. Yeah, 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 See, she went through the screen. I don't remember leaving the screen open. No, I did it. <laughs> so, yeah. So there's my deck now. Uh, I don't think I'll put another coat. It's just, I just want to leave it the way it is. And we'll go in and I have to finish the bedroom and that's it. You know. So anyways guys, I just wanted to show you what the how the gimbal is. Uh, it's it's very very good. It's I have no I don't seem to have any problems. I haven't used the app yet, but I like the stir the how it's sturdy and um how it it's 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 it has a good response. You know, it's it keeps balance. That's what I like. You know. See, I'm 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 pumping my arm right now, and you can't. You know, it, can, uh, it doesn't even turn. It doesn't move. Yeah. See, I'm pumping my arm right now, and the camera still doesn't. The image hasn't even moved. <laughs> but, anyways, guys. So I just want to let you. Uh, I just wanted to show you about the this this uh, the S2. Uh, by Faytech. I like this gimbal. It's solid. It seems to be able to do the job. Now let's see about the app. I don't know if the app is going to be even good enough. Uh, I, don't, uh, I doubt it. But anyways, we'll pl I'll install the app and, and we'll see what kind of features it has, you know. And uh, I'm going to be uh, also uh, reviewing that uh, action cam there, the Aitman uh, A79. The one I was showing you, the unboxing there, well, later on I'm going to be uh, actually putting the battery in and all, and see what its functionalities are. So I'm going to video that, so if you guys want to come back and check it out, you know, uh, you'll, you guys are welcome. And uh, like I said, we're going to, uh, you know, I'm going to see how, how it works and what its functions are and stuff like that, because I want to put that one in the car, you know. So I could uh, film while I'm driving and stuff like that, especially in the winter time. There's a lot of snow and there's a lot of deer. So sometimes you see these really big deer, you know, so and you, you, you don't have a camera. So, <laughs> you know, I'll put that in the car and leave it there and, uh, you know, turn it on <laughs> and drive through the through the mountain and stuff like that. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see Bigfoot. Yeah, jeez. Oh, yeah, Bigfoot. 
so anyways guys um st tune in on my next video there and uh, we'll be talking about uh, talking about that aitman uh, a79 and uh, we'll see its functionalities and then we're gonna eventually test it out and see how the image and the picture quality is on this uh, action cam you know so anyways guys i'm gonna cut this video now you know finish finish the rest of the deck and then go inside so i'm just gonna i'll call it quits for now so i hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video man like and subscribe you know it helps the channel and uh stay safe okay guys so i'm gonna cut it here take care